Hello. Let us please now take a look at the WASI 2022 June Mathematics Paper 1. So we'll be solving this paper. But we are going to take them 10 by 10. So in this particular video, we'll be looking at the question 1 to 10. Then we will continue to solve in that order 11 to 20, 21 to 30, and finally 41 to 50. So, the first question evaluate correct to four significant figures 573.06 times 184.25. When you multiply this, you obtain thousand. You obtain one eighty-five thousand five hundred eighty-six point three zero five. To three significant, to four significant figures, we start counting from the very first non-zero digit number, which is one. So one, two, three, four. So that is the fourth significant figure. We run up because the eight is greater than five. Greater than or equal to five. So to four significant figures, this will be the result, which is number, which is question uh, option A. Change 432 base 5 to a number in base 3. So first of all, let's convert the 432 base 5 to base 10. So we take the 4 and multiply by the base 3, by the base 2, by the base. So that is what we get here. Then we start from the unit digit, which is exponent 0. The 10th digit exponent 1 to the hundreds digit which is exponent 2 so this will give us 4 times 2 25 plus 15 plus 2 which is 117 so this is in base 10 now so we now convert 117 base 10 which is equivalent to 432 base 5 into base 3 so this is what we get. We divide repeatedly by 3. So 117 divided by 3, we get 39. The remainder is 0. Then 39 divided by 3, we get 13. The remainder is 0. Then 3 goes into 13. 4 times the remainder is 1. 3 go into 4. The remainder is 1. So, 3 cannot go into 4, uh, into 1 again, so we repeat the same digit, the same number here. So, we can see that 4, 3, 2, base 5 is equal to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, base 3. So option B is correct. Given that A and B are set such that the number of elements in set A is 8, the number of elements in set B is 12, and the number of elements in set A intersection B is 3, find the number of elements in A union B. So we know that A union B the number of elements in A union B will be equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in their intersection. So we can substitute these values to obtain 8 as we're giving the question, then 12 as we're giving the question, minus 3 as we're giving the question. 
then find the number of then we now simplify this to obtain 17. So the correct option is option B. If square root of 24 plus square root of 96 minus square root of 600 is equal to y root 6, find the value of y. So we express 24 as 4 times 6, 96 as 16 times 6, 600 as, as 100 times 6. So multiplication is committed. I'm supposed to bring down the first for uniformity, but I've done that already. So we simplify the left hand side here. So the law of sets, rule of sets, root a b is equal to root a times root b. So we split the root sign, root 4 times root 6, root 16 times root 6, then root 100 times root 6. Then we know root 4 is 2, so this will give us 2 root 6. Then this will give us 4 root 6. This will give us 10, negative 10 root 6. So when we simplify, 2 plus 3, 4 is 6. 6 minus 10 is negative 4 root 6. So this will give us y root 6. And when we compare, the, when we compare both sides, or we divide both sides by root 6, root 6, we are left with y is equal to 6. y is equal to negative 4. So this is the correct answer. We have to evaluate 23 times 54 mod 7. Now let's multiply 23 by 54 and that will give us 1242. Now we'll change this one to mod 7. So you can use your calculator to do that. So it means what's the remi remainder when this number is divided by 7. So what's the remainder? So if we divide this by 7, we get 177 whole number 3 over 7. So the remainder is 3. So the correct answer is supposed to be 3. So you can do that by multiplying 7 by 177. You get you get this number and subtract it from 1242, which is 3. Uh, you can straightforward divide 1242 by 7. You get 177 point something. So take the whole number part and times it by 7. That will give you this. And take it away from this. Or this. Then you get the remainder to be 3. Now let's look at this one. 4 exponent 3x. So we can rewrite this as 4 exponent 3x is equal to 4 exponent 2 into bracket x plus 1. So the bases are the same. 4 exponent 2 is the same as 16. That's why you write it like that. 4 exponent 2 is the same as 16. So that's why we write this like this. So the bases are the same. So we put the exponent 3x is equal to 2 into bracket x plus 1. So 3x will be equal to 2x plus 2. So 3x minus 2x will be equal to 2. So x will be equal to 1. And x will be equal to 2. So the correct answer is b. Someone can also decide to change all to be 2. So it is the same thing, but just that it will make the work lengthy. So 2 exponent 2 times 3x will be equal to 2 exponent 4x plus 1. So that will give us 6x is equal to 4x plus 4. So you get 2x is equal to 4 x equal 2. 
a weaver bought a bundle of grass for fifty dollars from which he made eight mats if each mat was sold for fifteen dollars find the percentage profit so let's find the profit first the selling price minus the cost price so selling price is eight times 15 which is 120 120 dollars minus the cost price which is 50 dollars so that will give us 70 dollars that's a profit so the profit percent will be equal to profit percent We got to profit over cost price times hundred percent. So profit is seventy dollars over cost price, which is fifty dollars times hundred percent. So fifty will go into hundred two times that will give us. That will give us 140 percent. Find the 17th term of the arithmetic progression. So the first term is negative 6. Then the common difference will be negative 1 minus negative 6. That will give us 5. So the 17th term will be equal to a the 17th term is equal to a plus a which is negative 6 plus 16 d 16 times d which is 5 so 16 times 5 will be 80 so negative 6 plus 80 that will give us 74 M varies directly as N and inversely as the square of P. So M varies directly as N and inversely as the square of P. If M equal 3, when N equal 2, so M now be equal to KN over p squared now we're given that m equal 3 n equal 2 so 2k over p squared so we have 3 is equal to 2k so k will be equal to 3 over 2 because it's very Divide also by 2 here. So k is equal to 3 over 2. So when you put k equal to 3 over 2 here, you get m is equal to 3 over 2n all over p squared. And you can write this as 3n over 2p squared. which is option A. So, 3 over 2 and divided by P squared. So, this is the same as 3 over 2 and times 1 over P squared. So, that is how come we got this. If a equal 3 and b equal negative 7, find the value of 5b plus a plus b all squared over a minus b all squared. So we do substitution, b equal negative 7, a equal 3, b equal negative 7. 
so 3 minus negative 7 so this will give us negative 35 then negative 4 squared in. and 10 squared in. so this will give us 16 so 19 negative 19 over 100 which is negative 0 0.19 so we will upload the continuation in the next video thank you for watching see you in the next video